Music's my life. Well, I was here on holiday in uh, Thailand. I was walking down the Sukhumvit Road and I could see this Eason band. And I pulled out my uh, iPhone straight away and I started filming. I think this music from Eason, it could uh, generate a whole new scene. I need help on this project. There's one writer I know that I thought would be absolutely ideal. I've always been very interested in the East and the spirituality and the music and uh, Will just arranged everything. We picked Rich up from his hotel, we took a crew, we travelled up to Karat, we found this talent on street corners, we found it in the university. There, there is so much talent in Isan. <laughs> I was walking through the market and we just heard this singing and dancing to this yamo. What is this yamo? Tribal style chant and dance, which was amazing. It was incredible. Its own melody and its own own power. It's just enchanting. It's just pure, pure magic on its own, and it's live music at its best, but with spiritual power that you cannot explain. We found this Moreland dress shop with all these costumes. It was absolutely wonderful to see all these different styles of costumes that are made, handmade and the detail is incredible. Music, fashion and dance. We went to Surat Nari University to check out what the students were doing, what their take is on Western music, what their take is on contemporary music. Oh, we were on the road, a six hour drive, uh, back down south, and then all of a sudden we heard this pin guitar sound going, this Moreland party in these five or six vehicles, slowly going down the road. It was absolutely fantastic. Well, Rockstar's written this song. It's called Forever. And we've decided to record this song using a pin guitar, English vocals, but most importantly, Thai vocals. <laughs> When I first heard the song Forever, I was very excited because it's such a different style. I never heard something like that, you know? Forever! The song Forever, it's about people. It's about a boy and a girl, a man and a woman. And sometimes when people meet, they have a very, very special connection. And they know that no matter how far away they are from each other in the world, that one day they will be reunited and they will always think about that person. And I think that is what makes mankind very special. We can still love at distance. I'm quietly confident that uh, we're going to get something very special.